In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about the structure of all amino acids. Before we discuss about the structure of all amino acids, we must be knowing the stru general structure of amino acid. And this general structure I discussed in my previous video. So just refreshing that concept, there is one central carbon which is known as alpha carbon. So this is alpha carbon. On one side there is amino group is attached that is NH3 plus. On another side, there is carboxyl group containing, carboxyl group is there that is C double O minus. There is one hydrogen and one side chain. In all the amino acid, <coughs> this structure is common, okay. And this R group is different in all the amino acid. So basically, what makes particular amino acid unique is this R group. So all the properties are dependent on this R group. So, we will discuss structure of all amino acid with respect to this R group. We will not draw this common structure. Okay? We will just specify the R group and by knowing R group, we can know the structure of amino acid. So, based on structure, there are total 7 groups are there. So, first group is the amino acid in their side chain having an aliphatic side chain. So, aliphatic side chain containing amino acid. So, here we have 5 members are there. So, first one is glycine, then alanine, then valine, then leucine and then we have isoleucine. All these amino acids had given a short form that is GLY for glycine, ALA for alanine, VAL for valine, LEU for leucine and ILE for isoleucine. In the glycine, the side chain contains only hydrogen atom. In case of alanine, the side chain is simple one carbon that is methyl group. In the valine, side chain contains three carbon. So, one is CH, then two methyl groups are attached with this CH group. Okay. In case of leucine, if you just add one more carbon at the beginning of valine side chain, it becomes a side chain of leucine. So, this is a side chain of valine, right? This is the side chain of valine. And if you add one more carbon over here, it becomes a side chain of leucine. Now, regarding isoleucine, if you look at its name, it's a isoleucine. That means it is the isomer of leucine. That means the side chain must have rearrangement. Okay. So the rearrangement is that this carbon, this methyl group is transferred over here. So here we will have this CH2, then this methyl group is over here, CH3, and remaining structure is same, CH3. Now we have to just look at the valences of the carbon. Carbon has four valences. So one, two, three and 2 hydrogen. So, we have to keep it as a 1 hydrogen. Here, instead of CH2, we have to make 2 hydrogen. Why? Because 2 bonds are already there and then this CH3. So, this becomes a structure of isoleucine, the side chain structure of isoleucine. You can see that out of this 5, these 3 are containing a branched chain. So, this is aliphatic chain having a branch. So, branch chain amino acid. The second group of amino acid is the hydroxyl group in side chain. So, hydroxyl group that is OH group in side chain. So, here we have two members, one is serine and other is threonine. The short form for the serine is SER and short form for the threonine is THR. In the serine side chain, the side chain R, it contains CH2 and then OH group. In case of threonine, we have to first do the side chain of serine and then we have to add one more methyl group at the end. So, here one hydrogen we have to remove. So, it will be simply CH. Okay. Here in the hydroxyl group, group containing amino acid, we have third member also that is tyrosine. But this tyrosine, it although it contains OH group, but it also contains aromatic ring. And that's why we will describe this structure of tyrosine along with the aromatic amino acids. The third group based on the structure is the sulfur in side chain. So, 
you can also call it as a sulfur containing sulfur containing amino acid okay here again we have only two members one is cysteine and methionine so in case of cysteine the three letter code is cys and for the methionine the three letter code is met in case of cysteine the side chain is simply a ch2 and then sh this is sulfhydryl group whereas in case of methionine what happens we have to just add one carbon in the beginning and one carbon at the end and it will become a side chain of the methionine so first i will draw the structure of this cysteine side chain and so first carbon in the beginning and one carbon at the end and this will make a side chain of methionine but again here we have to look for the valences so all the valences are okay except for this s this sulfur contains only two bond so this hydrogen needs to get removed so here i told you that this group is the sulfhydryl group sulfhydryl group why because there is a sulfur and hydrogen but here only sulfur is that along with two methyl atom on either side so this is this group it is known as thioether group thioether group so although cysteine and methionine both are sulfur containing amino acid cysteine contains sulfhydryl group whereas methionine contain thioether group the fourth group of this uh, amino acid based on their structural characteristic is that is the acidic amino amino acid acidic amino acid and this acidic amino acid along with their respective amides all they are classified in the same group so acidic amino acid with their respective amides so let's look at this group in the acidic amino acid group we have only two amino acid and the respective amides so it will again make up a two more amino acid so total four members are there so first acidic amino acid is aspartate and second amino uh, second acidic amino acid is the glutamate glutamate let's look at the structure of aspartate first its side chain contain ch2 and then carboxyl group this carboxyl group provides acidic property to this aspartate so we call it as a acidic amino acid in case of glutamate we have to just add one more carbon in the beginning so ch2 ch2 and then c double o minus group so here what happens <coughs> this this bond is with the alpha carbon if you look at the general structure of amino acid this is the alpha carbon and everything is bonded this r chain is bonded with the alpha carbon so here here this bond is with the alpha carbon so this carbon becomes beta right here also this bond is with the alpha carbon so this becomes beta and this becomes gamma carbon so here you can see this carboxyl group is bound with this beta carbon so we call this as a beta carboxyl group beta carboxyl group similarly this carboxyl group is bound with the gamma carbon so we call this group as a gamma carboxyl group now let's look at the respective amide amide means whenever nh2 group is added into this amino acid we call it as a their respective amide so in case of aspartate when amide group is added where does this amide group get added it binds with this carbon okay so we we get this side chain so we have ch2 then this carbon so this carbon with its oxygen one oxygen is removed which is replaced by nh2 that is amide group okay so this side chain containing amino acid its name is different that is aspergine it's a aspergine and its short code is asn and for the aspartate the short code is asp now similarly with the glutamate which short code is glu glu when amide group gets added to its side chain again similar type of reaction is seen so we get this side chain that is ch2 ch2 then this carbon with its oxygen and one oxygen is replaced with amide group so nh2 and this side chain containing amino acid it is known as glutamine glutamine and its short code is gln so this becomes our fourth group that is acidic amino acid with their respective amides <coughs> then we have fifth group that is 
basic amino acid basic amino acid basic amino acids as you can see in the acidic amino acid we have carboxyl group so in case of basic amino acid we have extra amino group in this group we have three amino acids one is lysine with short code is lys then we have arginine its short code is arg and then we have histidine its short code is his okay in case of lysine the side chain r is very long so it has four ch2 groups in a row so four ch2 group in a row which is bound with the amino group which is nh3 plus here i am showing nh3 plus because at the normal physiological ph extra hydrogen is attached to this amino group okay again over here in in the structure of arginine we have to just do just make little bit changes in the side chain and we will get a side chain of arginine what are these changes so the similarity is that first three carbons are same so ch2 ch2 and then ch2 and then this fourth carbon is surrounded by nitrogen on three sides so one nitrogen over here one nitrogen over here and one nitrogen over here and then let's complete the bonds here this lower nitrogen is made up with the two uh, bonds so let's fulfill the valencies so nitrogen makes a uh, three valencies so we have to keep hydrogen over here here carbons four valencies are satisfied here nh2 and this lower one is the nh2 plus one extra hydrogen is attached at the normal ph in case of histidine its structure is little bit different so side chain it contains one ch2 and with this ch2 one five membrane ring is attached okay and that ring is imidazole ring so with the ch2 five membrane ring is attached like these there are two nitrogens over here and then this so this is the five membrane ring it is known as imidazole ring this is imidazole ring so imidazole ring containing amino acid is the histidine in case of lysine as you can see that this bond is with the alpha carbon so this becomes beta this becomes gamma this becomes delta and this becomes epsilon so this is epsilon amino group this is epsilon amino group here you can see this peculiar structure is that that one carbon is surrounded by three nitrogen then this group is known as guanidino group so guanidino group containing amino acid is the arginine and imidazole group containing amino acid is the histidine then let's see the sixth uh, group that is the aromatic side chain or you can also call it as a aromatic amino acids here in this group we have three amino acid one is phenylalanine phenylalanine then we have tyrosine and if you remember we had discussed this tyrosine along with oh group containing amino acid but the structure we had not discussed we will discuss it over here and the third member is the tryptophan tryptophan so in case of phenylalanine the side chain contains one ch2 which is further bound with the benzene ring or you can also call it as a phenyl ring so this is benzene ring this is the side chain of phenylalanine in the side chain of tyrosine you have to do simple one minor changes to this phenylalanine side chain and you will get a structure of tyrosine side chain so ch2 and this is the benzene ring right so this is same as phenylalanine but as we have discussed tyrosine contain oh group so that oh group is over here so this becomes a side chain of tyrosine in case of tryptophan it's little bit weird its structure is little bit Uh, difficult to remember so one ch2 group over here now it has two rings which are attached with each other one five membrane ring and another is a six membrane ring so let's first draw a five membrane ring so this is first five membrane ring which again bonded with the one benzene ring okay so this ring it is known as indole ring indole ring so indole group containing amino acid is the tryptophan here which group is this it is a phenyl group it is the phenyl group or also known as benzene group 
and phenyl group with the hydrogen with the hydroxyl group it is known as phenol group phenol group so here phenyl or benzene group containing amino acid is phenylalanine phenol group containing amino acid is the tyrosine and indole group containing amino acid is the tryptophan the short code for the phenylalanine is phe for the tyrosine it is the tyr and for the tryptophan it is the trp and the last seventh group is not amino acid it is actually amino acid amino acid and here only one member is there that is known as proline proline or short code is pro now again look at the structure common structure of amino acid we call this as a amino acid why because amino group is there which is bound with this carboxyl group through the alpha carbon so in case of amino acid so what will happen you can easily imagine that instead of amino group there is a amino group amino group is simply nh okay so here what happens first i will draw a linear diagram for for this proline so uh, so you can better understand so if proline is a amino acid suppose so what will happen this c double o minus group and nh3 plus would be over here one hydrogen and the side chain is simpler that 3 CH2 you have to add, but in reality, this proline actually this is CH3. This proline is not amino acid, but it is amino acid. That means instead of NH3, it has only NH. Okay, and this NH, and we know that N nitrogen makes up a three bond. So where where is the third bond? So the third bond is with this carbon. Okay, so this nitrogen and this carbon is added. So instead of CH3, we can write CH2. so this is a structure of proline okay now for the for the uh, so there is a ring formation is over here so to show this ring formation clearly what i am going to draw is that first i will draw this nh group okay so this is nh group which is bound with this carbon so i will show this carbon over here now with this carbon two more groups are attached one hydrogen and one c double o minus group so this is hydrogen and this is c double o minus group and now we have this three carbons right ch2 ch2 and ch2 that i have to attach with this carbon so this carbon is this one right this is alpha carbon so i make it as alpha with with this alpha carbon i have to make this three ch2 so one ch2 over here second ch2 over here and third ch2 over here we know that this third ch2 is this one which is bound with this nh so this is nh so you can see over here there is a five membrane ring and this ring it is known as pyrrolidin ring pyrrolidin ring now see here i had not drawn the structure of side chain here i had drawn a structure of full amino acid whereas rest all the amino acid i had drawn only side chain but in case of proline i had drawn full structure of amino acid because here you cannot make out side chain different from this uh, common structure okay as it has only amino group and this cycle includes alpha carbon its carboxyl group as well as amino group okay and in the more simplified form you can draw it like this these are the five membrane ring and at the apex lower apex there is a nitrogen and here one c double o minus so this is again pyrrolidin group is there so this is all about the structure of all the amino acid so in this video we have discussed all the structures of amino acid and we know what are the structural differences between different amino acid so once we know the this common structure common side chain we can easily remember certain properties of amino acid that we will discuss in the next video so properties it's a topic for the next video properties of amino acid the second thing is that uh, that three letter codes are given to all the amino acid along with three letter code one letter code is also given to amino acid so one alphabet code that is also a topic for the next video okay so in this video if you have any query or confusion please write it down in the comment section below thank you